One major feature of ACT Marketing Automation is called assets. Assets are resources that you own that you intend to use for your marketing efforts. Now these can be URLs to your website, YouTube video links, or even PDF files that you've created. When you give customers access to these assets, you'll be able to then gauge the effectiveness of each asset by tracking things like how many impressions an asset is receiving, or how many leads are being generated by the asset. You can even see the average time spent viewing the asset and also geographical data regarding where in the world your asset is being accessed. Let's take a quick overview of assets in ACT Marketing Automation. Now I've already logged into my ACT database, so I've clicked Marketing Automation in the left navigation, and now at the top of the screen, I'm gonna click the Assets button. One of the first things you should know is that we bundle each of your individual assets inside asset campaigns. This is essentially just a way of grouping and organizing related assets together. For example, if you have promotions that you're running on both Facebook and Twitter, you could create a separate asset campaign for each promotion just to see which one performs better. Inside the asset campaign is where you'll create the individual assets themselves. And when you create an asset, it's going to be assigned to a unique URL, which you can then post on your website or in your marketing campaigns or even on social media outlets. And then whenever one of your customers clicks on this link, you'll be able to track their interaction with your asset. Let's look at some sample data that I created in one of my asset campaigns, and it's called product release. From the main asset campaign screen, we can already see that I've received 49 impressions, 17 leads, and I've converted 85% of my lead forms into actual contacts in ACT. I'll explain this further as we go. If I go to my actions menu, I can view the dashboard for this asset, and this will show me the number of impressions that I've received, how many are from unique users, the average time they spent viewing my assets, the number of actual leads I've generated in this campaign, and even some revenue amounts that I set up ahead of time. There's a graphical display that shows you how your assets have been performing over time. And if I scroll down a little bit, I can see the contact information for visitors who completed any lead forms that I attached to my assets. I can see recent activity, and even view it from a map of the world. At the very bottom, I can view stats for each of the individual assets in this campaign. So I can quickly identify which one is the most effective. Let's go back for a little bit and view a specific asset. To do this, I'll go to my actions menu for my asset campaign and click edit. This first one on the left is a PDF asset. This is a PDF file for a catalog for my business. If I click the link, it'll pop this PDF up in a preview window. Notice that when I scroll to the second page, a form pops up. I can add forms like these to my PDFs or my YouTube assets. This is a great way to gather lead information while visitors are viewing my assets. I can even make these forms required or optional for my visitors too. Once they fill out this form and submit it to me, I'll be able to see their contact information on the dashboard for my assets and also as contacts in my ACT database. So assets are a great tool to reach brand new audiences and generate leads from many of the tools that you already use every day. Now you can leverage your website, your videos, and social media to get new leads and more customers.